Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another iPhone video tutorial. Today's topic is how to clear the search history on the iPhone and that's basically relating to your Safari web browsing history, any websites that you viewed. If for whatever reason you need to clear those, there's a couple of different ways to do it. However, to avoid any of that trouble in the first place, there is a cool feature called private browsing in Safari and you'll find that in the bottom left hand corner of the Safari window view. On this view, you're able to safely browse any website without retaining any website data, and that includes the history, any browsing cache or cookies that might be added from a website, and all of that can be opened and closed very easily by tapping the private browsing icon. However, say you forgot to use private browsing when searching for that gift on Amazon for your partner, and you realize you need to delete that from the browsing history, you are able to selectively remove websites by swiping left on the given URL. Just like you would with a message conversation, this will reveal a delete button, which can also be tapped to remove that entry from the list. Any of these URLs can be removed at any point in time. However, you can also use the clear icon in the bottom right hand corner to delete a little more broadly. You'll see a few parameters pop up when you tap the icon, including stuff from the last hour, today, today and yesterday, and even things from all time browsing history. Tapping any of these will yield the proper results. This can also be a useful tool for troubleshooting issues you may be having with Safari, as sometimes websites will fail to load or you'll notice sluggish behavior while browsing the internet. Using the Safari tab inside the settings application will also give you a similar result at the bottom of the page. You will see an option in blue text to clear history and website data. You'll notice this is very similar wording to what we just did in the clear tab. However, it's a good idea to do it from the settings window because you'll actually clear out any websites that are currently being browsed in Safari and they may be the ones that are actually causing the problem. So there you have a couple of different ways to clear your browsing data from Safari and safely get yourself back up and running again. I hope you found this helpful and we'll talk to you soon.